So savings and investment with the AE models, what we're focusing on in this video. And we start off with something familiar again, AE equals C plus I. And we also know that there's another formula, and that is uh, AE equals Y. And since AE is equal to C plus I and AE is equal to Y, that must imply that C plus I is equal to Y makes perfect sense and another thing I want to talk about is savings so savings s is equal to disposable income minus C what we the money we have the disposable income the money we, the money we have after paying taxes minus what we spend our uh, money on so then we have YD minus C we know that we can expand C to C naught uh, plus BYD and if we further expand minus into the bracket bracketed uh, equation, we get yd minus c naught minus byd. That is equal to negative c naught uh, plus yd minus byd. And if we take out the yd, we can have minus c naught plus 1 minus b times yd. That is simple math. And with further assumption that y that we have no taxes, so yd will equal to pretty much our income. And that's when there are no taxes, when t equals 0. And so savings is equal to minus c naught plus 1 minus b yd and this is one part of the video the second part is again we start off with our equation ae equals y we know that ae is equal to c plus i equals y but we could rework this formula to make it i equals y minus c now we know that yd or yd is equal to y when t equals zero right this applies here too so what happened is i will get y i equals yd disposable income minus c and the, this should look familiar by now this is uh yd minus c yd minus c so this is pretty much this. So essentially, what I'm saying here is that I is equal to S. And that's how we connected everything from, uh, from savings to investments to AE model. Now about this graph. I have this graph here. We should already be, already be familiar with, with, uh, with, all, with the lines and everything. And we know that this would be our equilibrium. Uh, this would be our equilibrium uh, income, and this would be our equilibrium equilibrium spending. A E spending equilibrium. So then let's draw another graph. This would be savings and investments. The vertical line. And this would be y. So let's draw this properly. So this would be zero. So we know that. Uh, actually, I'll do this in another video. It might be too long. So see you next.